Hey guys, <laughs> we're doing Atomic Heart. Now the game just crashed. So hopefully this is gonna work fine. We're going with basic settings to begin with and you know, depending on how much flexibility we have with our resources will go up. But we're starting with 800p, lowest settings. I'm not making any changes, so we're just going for lowest preset. And we're starting with 11 watt TDP. I really love this place. Good vibes. The Chelame complex was built from the ground up to be the ideal comfortable workplace. Are you serious? I've been here before. I mean, I guess that the intro can be pre-scripted, but for us to get 30 FPS at 11 watt? That's pretty good. GPU is full usage. We're off to a great start, honestly. I'm sure it's gonna dip when, you know, we're fighting and there's explosions and all these kinds of stuff, but all things considered, that's really good. Let's go with 15 watt. Oh my god. <laughs> that's... Okay, okay, so I guess it's stabilizing, because... That 70 was pretty 60 just now. And we don't even have FSR activated. Let me just double check just to be sure, but I'm pretty sure all we have is lowest presets. Yeah, there's no FSR that is on. It's looking mighty fine right now. And even on the Winmax 2 that has a considerably bigger screen, I mean, it's still very good looking, all things considered. Let's try, let's try pumping it up by one preset. See how much of a hit that gives us. Yes, Dr. Sechenov, I'll keep it safe. Report to the lab to complete your integration. Definitely getting a bit of hiccup, but I've got a full schedule technically today, so we're past 30 still. Yay, we're gonna start moving, I think. I mean, our GPU is definitely working. That's, that's, shows a well-optimized game, if anything. Reach. I mean, moving at a faster speed still seems to give us a pretty, a pretty nice FPS, all things considered. Guys, I'm at 15 watts. I guess it doesn't mean that going any higher will, you know, give me considerably better performance, but we'll, we'll find out in a couple of minutes, but for an FPS to work for a brand new FPS, and it looks good, I mean, it looks like a, it's not the best looking game ever, but what I'm seeing seems pretty convincing. Let's try going higher even, because even now, I mean, we're technically still past 30. Like, we seem to be more in the 40 range. I mean, the good thing, obviously, this game is very well optimized, right? So, whatever changes we make will feel the impact, and it shows by the fact that the GPU is constantly at 99% to 100%. Let's try pumping out the wattage a bit. See what it does. I feel like I'm hallucinating here. It's 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 a little too good. <laughs> I'm not complaining by any means. Okay, now that's more like it. I guess some effects are a little more taxing. I think is that it? That might be it. Yeah, Atomic probably has like ray. Th Did they remove ray tracing to this game? <laughs> Guys, this is a mini PC. How crazy is that? Okay, and now let's go ahead and activate um, FSR. <laughs> I'm flabbergasted. Right now I'm on 18 watt FSR activated 
we're over 30 fps but i would expect that when we start fighting and there's a lot of effect it's probably gonna dip on comrade section off's direct order welcome comrade major today is a joyful occasion but man, isn't that crazy? If you're aiming for like highest graphics <laughs> at 17 watt, 800p, you seem to be with FSR activated on quality, mind you. I'm not even on performance yet. It seems to be doable to achieve 30 FPS. Honestly, I wonder if I would need to reset the game. I'm I'm a little I have a hard time believing those stats. It's a little too good. Oh, by the way, guys, this game is on Game Pass uh, for PC. So if you have PC Game Pass, make sure to get it there. Unless you like your game on Steam, of course. That's fine, too. I got it on Game Pass. For your information, that's a highly user-friendly gesture. Let's go back to lower settings. We'll see if we can hit 60 because this is... I have every reason to believe that it's achievable. And potentially without even using FSR. I mean, this ability <laughs> prove very useful in the future. But for now, please 18 watt. Well, beyond 60. Again, I'm curious to see what it'll look like when we'll start fighting, but Comrades, the address by the Director General of and I know that this game also has an open world area, so maybe, you know, once we get there. Dude. Like. That's pretty impressive. How are they pulling this off? This is wizardry, man. This game looks pretty good. We find ourselves just one small step away from an enemy. Report to the lobby of that high road. Okay, so here's what we're gonna do now. Um, clearly, you like the 800p. You can play this game for sure. And if you want to play, you know, with low battery, like we were pretty much coasting on 30 FPS with 11 watts. That's crazy. So let's try going, um, we're still gonna go low, but we're gonna try going uh, higher in resolution. So let's try 1920 by, okay, it's not letting me um, change RTSS right now, so it's a little smaller, but I'll tell you guys. We're in the 50 FPS range at 1200p. Low settings, 18 watt. So, you know, if you want to have a crisper image and don't necessarily care for details. Oh, wow. Okay, I guess this is a corridor, but we just dipped for to 40, but we were at 70 a second ago. I love this place. No matter how many times I come here, it always amazes me. It's just so nice. So, while we are achieving, so moving, panning is making me drop under 40 um and it's not as you know we're above 30 fps but i don't know if you'll see it in the video there's a lot of tearing um the panel doesn't help as much as i love the gpd win max dude this is you know this is something that the ioneo has that is very good about it um so yeah there's a lot of tearing um at 1200p So, you know, while the FPS are still absolutely acceptable and doable, it seems that the delivery of those frames are far more 
jittery. Maybe not the best place to make that change, but I'm curious now. We're going 1600 P, my guys. <laughs> We're down to 20 something FPS. You know, I think it's one of those games that we could actually run the panel. If if we push to like 25 watt, it seems doable. Let's try it. Of course, I'm not in the best place again to try this, but let's do 25. So we have 25. We're still like we're dead 30 dipping between 30 and 29 yeah it seems like that resolution even if we go higher like we're just killing it at this point okay so you know what 1600p i guess you could run it to look at the game see how nice it looks we're not even outside so if you'd be curious to see what it looks like at that resolution you know it's not gonna go down to 2 fps and you're gonna have to alter four type of thing but it's not it's not an achievable target in terms of just pleasant comfortable gaming i mean the fact that you can do 1200p is impressive but if i was to play myself that's probably not the resolution i would play it in because 800p is already so good but we are getting very interesting frame rates here so we'll let it run a little bit at that resolution Okay, I'm curious to see what it's going to look like now outside. So again, at this point in time, we are at 1200p. And we are at 24, 25 watt in terms of CDP. Now, I feel like this game is going to be a beautiful game to run with auto TDP. I still have to get around and install Cypher's um, auto TDP tool. I just haven't gotten around to doing it, but I want to do it uh, for my travels. But yeah, definitely this, this device can offer you a very pleasant experience. So still outside and we're in the 60 FPS range. Let's go back to 18. It always comes down to what's your target, right? As we all know, 40 Hertz is an amazing target to have. So if you're aiming for 40 Hertz, it seems that not only should you be able to do it at 1200p with um, 18 watt, chances are you could even go from low to medium in terms of preset. All that's left for us to see is what kind of performance we're getting in battle because you know, so far it's been amazing, but there is a chance that we just haven't put the game through its paces yet. Yeah, the, like just the amount of tearing, like look at this cord. The amount of tearing is the reason why I wouldn't play this game at 1200p, no matter how good it runs. Um, cause I've seen it ever since we switched to 1200p, like it's been very obvious. <laughs> no, the game crashed. <gasps> How I hope it saved. Oh my God. Uh, I'm going to stop the video here. I'm going to get to where I was and continue then. By the way, I've gone back to 800p, um, low settings, and 15 watt. The game doesn't let you activate V-Sync, so I, I don't know why that, or it doesn't let me, I don't know why that is. I tried lowering the FPS in case it was because I was set to 90, which of course the panel cannot do, so. But it doesn't seem to be the reason why. Okay. 
Anyways, while this is happening, in terms of performance, personally, and this is how I will mostly play, is lock it down to most likely 40 at 15 watt 800p lowest settings, uh, FSR not activated. And the reason is, again, it's a bigger screen than say the Yai Neo 2, but it's still a small screen, all things considered. Oh. I mean, that was a lot of effect, all right. I guess once the game has shaders built, we're good to go. Alright guys, we're gonna stop here. I mean, this gives me all the information I need to know. That's not to say that there won't be a place and time in the game when you're not gonna see a dip based on having to build new shaders and stuff, but for the most part, this game runs beautifully on 6800 views, and it's not looking any less beautiful for that. Um, I would recommend sticking to 800p. I'm going to be playing on lowest settings. Um, again, 15 watt, I think is going to be enough. Auto TDP, if you have it set up, when I have it set up, maybe it's going to go a little bit lower. Maybe it's going to go a little bit higher based on the target FPS you want. Um, I'm probably going to go 40 FPS, 40 hertz, 40 frame per second. Um, you know, to conserve battery because I'll be on the road. So battery is going to be actually quite important. Um, and yeah, there you have it guys. It's again, I'm, I'm flabbergasted at the performance of this game. It's quite impressive. So if you want to pick it up, it's on game pass. Otherwise it's on steam. If you have any questions, drop them in the comment box below. And, uh, as always guys, thank you very much for watching and I'll see you on the next one. Peace.